We're gonna do a kind of review video today, but we're also just gonna play with some eyeshadow. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Brit Cherie. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It's right there right there at the bottom of the screen. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm on all of the above. I will link those in the comments as well. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. We're just gonna hang out. Uh, I did wanna talk to you guys a little bit uh, about my upload schedule. So I <laughs> like legit had a mental breakdown and um, so she's kind of having a mental breakdown right now. Yeah, so I'm thinking about going to uploading three times a week instead of five just because I am also in school full time and I work full time and I'm a mom and... Damn! <laughs> it's a lot, y'all. Like, I love doing this and I wish that I could continue doing it five days a week, but I've done that for like eight months and I... It's... It's so much. It's so much. So I will upload as often as I can, but at least try and do it three times a week. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, today we're just going to be playing with some eyeshadow because I do a lot of reviews. This is technically a review. It's not um, something I've worked with before so I've never used it. But I just want to play around and have fun because makeup is supposed to be fun. Um, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection. This is the volume 2 palette, the little mini palette, and it's super cute, and I've never used it, and I think it has some crazy colors in it, so I'm really excited. I am super stoked. This is the cutest packaging, you guys. I know that you all have seen this, but I have never used it, and this is freaking adorable. Look at that. My camera's not auto-focusing again, but I have never used Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows before, so I'm super stoked for that, and I just want to play, and I just want to have fun and do something like, I don't know, mildly, you know, not your everyday. So I'm really excited. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's very pretty. I love it already. I love it. And we are going to prime our eyelids because these look so pigmented that I really want them to show up on my eyeballs. So we are going to prime. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the new Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna try this. I have not tried this on my eyeballs before. Tap that into our eyeballs. Oh. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. So it is slightly opaque, which is nice. I like that. It is smooth, but it's also tacky. So hopefully it'll hold on to the pigments. Which is good. That's what we want. That's what I want. I'm, you know, iffy on eyeshadow primers. Some of them I like. Sometimes I just use concealer if it's a good concealer, but I hope this works. It feels really good. So there's that. There's not super a transition shade in here, so I think I'm going to go in with the yellow first. Ooh, that's pigmented on the brush thing. That's a pretty yellow. It's not like neon. It's almost like a light, almost like, like a light daffodilly, buttercupy, lemon sorbet -y yellow. And I'm just going in with the Morphe M519. I know I don't have a lot of Morphe brushes, y'all. So um, this is the one that I use a lot. I have a lot of brushes, but they're just not as good. Eye brushes, they're not as good. I like the Morphe ones. So far, this yellow is laying down nice. It's so funny, I like playing with all the colors that don't necessarily look good on redheads, but I know I have black hair now. But orange and yellow are generally not the colors that redheads wear. All right, we're going to just use the same brush. I'm going to go in with this light orange that's in this palette. pretty 
y'all. These are pretty. And they do blend nicely together. They play well with others. And by others, I mean very close siblings. Oh, I like that. And then underneath the orange, I'm going to go in with this really light green. That one's a little more powdery than the other ones. And they stack. They get more pigmented the more that you layer them. And there's really not a lot of fallout, y'all. I mean, my concealer is creasing, so that's awesome. This reminds me of like a summer popsicle so far. green it's the only shimmer in the palette it's this green right here I'm gonna put that on my lid because it's pretty that one does have more fallout the shimmer but it's very pretty so I'm gonna go off camera we're gonna put on some of our makeup and then we'll come back and we'll do the under eye okay we're back I kind of have a janky wing over here because my eyeliner pen like ran out and dried up and I've used it one time before this and it's the Duce, Duce, Doce, I don't know, the Fierce and Fine graphic pen. This was baller when I got it in a box and I tried it and I really liked it on my hand and then I used it once on my eyes. The second time I used it was today and it dried out. It completely dried out. So, and it's a felt tip. Um, so that's fun. So I'm sorry if my eyeliner looks a little janky. Um, anyway, so we're gonna finish off this look by doing under the eye. I think what I'm gonna do is some of this like magenta purple and some of this hot orange that's underneath here. And we're gonna use that to finish out under our eye. Um, for sure. Here, give me a second. 
We'll all take a brief intermission. I would definitely wear this outside. Look at that pigment. Look at that orange to green to yellow to sparkle. We have a little bit of pink and darker orange underneath. I really like this little palette. This is a baller little palette and it's super fun and you can make really cute little eye looks with it and I'm super stoked about it. So yeah, this was a really long winded video to say that this is super cute and I like it and it's fun to play with and I had a lot of fun today playing with it and I think that you would have a lot of fun playing with it too. Again, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection. This is the little mini pro pigment palette volume two. Right now, these little mini pro pigment volumes um, are on sale at Ulta and at Sephora, I believe, for $14.50. So, yeah, not bad at all. Won't break the bank. And super cute, and you can make super fun eye looks with it. So, I'm really excited, and I had a lot of fun doing this today. Thank you guys so much for watching me, and if you're not already, hit that like and that subscribe button, and, you know, follow me on social media. And we'll talk about makeup and we'll have fun and we'll play and we'll, you know, do stuff. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me and I will see you guys next.